All right, lads, we are here in Keld L Trim, absolutely Baltic, but it's all good. We're here for the pints. Uh, we have a few recommendations. We're going to go check them out now. Obviously, Trim Castle in the background. Couldn't do the intro anywhere else. Let's have a couple of pints and let's go. Marcy Regan's, I think it's called. A bit of a like town. Let's just watch it there. You want to be a big guy? Yeah. We can't afford it. Can't afford yeah. uh, any points for the customers. And come here. What's the What's the YouTube channel? It's called the Guinness Guru. Cozy we're in Marcy Regan's uh, first stop in Trim. Bit of crack on inside, I must say, of a Monday night. Some spot. Tiny little pub, as you saw me, I presume you've got me walking in the door. I'm pretty big now, but <laughs> it's it's tight. Just a cozy fire, we'll get a shot of fire as well. There's a cozy fire inside. Point is good. I, I'll have to have another sip, I don't know. <clears throat> Had a girl text me on Instagram saying, Marcy Regan's best pint in Leinster. Big claim. It's by no means the best point in Leinster. I don't know if it's even going to be the best point in Trim, Cozy. <clears throat> Gotta be honest. If that's the best point in Trim, then we may go home now. It's grand, like, but it's not not a class point, in my opinion. Stick's decent. It's going to get 7.0. I think I, I expected it to be mid eights, and I wouldn't say it's anywhere near that. Maybe I just got a bad one, but more watery than I would have expected, and just not blown away. Seven on the button. Heading into uh, McCormack's now. This was there was kind of a few late recommendations for this place. We weren't actually planning on going it, and then I put it out today, and they said go here. So I know what how hard. <laughs> That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Rest your point in your head. <laughs> I take the picture as well. Yeah. Hang on. He's the local celebrity. Yeah, he's my man. Oh, oh man. Jesus Christ. And he looks so. Oh my six, God. Seven. <laughs> what are you, 6'5"? Six, five. Uh, six, no, he's 5'5". Fair play, Dara. Dara. Here we are. Mick, is it? Mick, yeah. Sorry, Mick. Not a single bubble on the top of this, looks creamy, head looks good, good temperature, got the condensation or whatever the fuck it's called. I reckon this is definitely going to be over an 8, but who knows. <coughs> yeah, we've got eyes on us now. Don't know about my, my 8 <coughs> assumption, but it's, yeah, it's a good point. Yeah, this is definitely just your, your standard pub, like just grand, grand, just slug a few pints. McCormick's, quick review, but yeah, not a, not a whole lot to it, like it's just a uh, very solid 7.8. No, it yeah, must be the split the fucking G. Yeah, the line of the G, yeah. 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 He's on a taxi for that's, the last name. That's hard. <laughs> <laughs> right, lads, I ran into a good friend of mine, Jerry McLaughlin, who is the kit man, who is the kit man for the Mead Hurling team for how many years, Jerry? Uh, 14 years. 2006. Come came on. in. And I've noticed you're very commercially minded there because you've covered up uh, with a little bit of electrical tape, you've covered up the sponsor's logo from a previous sponsor, um, just in, in bearing in mind the new sponsor. So you, you know your stuff on the commercial side as well, is that right? Just in case the new sponsor might tune into your channel or that Seamus Kenny could be tuning into it either. Good stuff. Well, we've challenged you here to split the G in the Guinness, so we have to try and get the Guinness down to the line just as close to the G there as possible, okay? So, off we go there. Come on, Jerry. Is there a prize for this? Yeah. Just uh, a lot of social media recognition. Yeah. Okay. You get about five points for the motion, Jerry. Dance around here, that's. Come on, Jerry. Go on, carry on. Oh, go on. That's not a bad effort at all, just a yeah, little, little bit too far, but very good effort. Quarter sip too much, Jerry. Yeah, fair play to you. They always said I had a big mouth. 
Jesus. 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 And then Big Jerry, Jerry split in the G and all, turned out to be absolute carnage. <laughs> so, yeah, really happy with that. Some good content as we want to give to you guys. So, yeah, I'm not sure where we're going now, Cozy. Lynch is, it? Lynch is next, I think. Cozy has just stood in shite. How are we feeling, Cozy? Fucking not great. <laughs> trim, trim, lads. Clean up your real dog shit. Clean up your dog shite on the fucking road, lads. <laughs> good the, the good work shoes and all. Heading into Lynch's. AKA the motor bar. <laughs> point was comped. Cozy's after only informing me now that the point in Marcy's was comped as well. So I uh, feel slightly bad about my score, but it probably you probably did the right thing because we can't be letting that that uh, affect the score. But now that does look good, cozy. This looks similar enough to the McCormick's points. I'd say it looks ten percent creamier. Does that bring the score? What's ten percent of seven point? <laughs> You know, Cozy by the fourth gulp. We thought it was going to be 10% creamier. It was more like 20% creamier. Very creamy. Solid taste. And we walked in here and we got the, the usual spiel and we got the usual crack from the few lads at the bar. Oh, this is the best pint of germ. And like, and I actually said it to Mick, your man, who I got the picture with in the last place. Absolute hero. He said, um, I was chatting to him after all the madness and he said I don't know, without doubt now consistency wise this is the best point in trim I said look I have to be honest with you Mick every pub we go into a, of, a, of a Monday night they're going to tell us it's the best point so like I said oh, fair enough fair enough you decide but for me this is better look at that cosy staying creamy head is staying thick stick is like look at the ringage as well get in on there it's just pure cream. And also, Jesus, I nearly forgot. Um, they keep their keg right below the tap. So it's literally going like a foot when they're pouring the pints. I'm going to venture up to the eights, cozy. Taste is still not incredible, but it's it's maintaining the good cream. And you know, bro, I've sucked a feckin' three quarters of the thing already doing the review, so you just know it's good. I'll go. 8.2 Very solid score uh, Lynch's of trim We've been to uh, It's an exclusive now We've been to Marcy and the Hormuz And I said this is the best of the three oh. That's no word of a lie You're messing now are you? No I'm not messing That's the best point to tell this guy Yeah just out, out of uh, Lynch's I don't know, like, see, this is the funny thing, Cozy, because in my mind, like, I'm just going, oh, all standards right there. I'm just going to these pubs and I'm just writing the point I've been given. But there could be lads from Trim going, he's saying the old standards better than this, that, and the other. So, like, you know, that's what it's all about. If you think I'm completely off, then, like, let us know. But, yeah, for me, so far, out of the tree. Uh, Lynch's was the best, just just really creamy, and you know by now lads, I just love a creamy pint Taste, once the taste is alright, and it's creamy, I'm sold Into the old stand now, across the road uh, Oh baby Relax, Yeah, exactly I want to walk with you guys Well, we'll see what you like on the camera I walk like fuck, and build it tight, and it's a fan Alright. You've been here for now 25 years. Don't hang me on that cut, Rio. Alright, it's awesome. Cozy, we're in uh, the Allstand, just up the road from Lynch's um, market man behind the bar. <laughs> we went to set up where we were going to do the, the review, and he's just there flat out. Yeah, put that in the video there now. We have a deal on uh, 3 for 12, and, and, then, and then we have the live music as well, so put that in the video. <laughs> And listen, he gave us a point for free, so I said, you can go, Prosecco on tap for six euro. 
don't know how enticing that sounds, but uh, should we give him the, the free ad? Yeah, few few characters in here, let's just say. But th that's I, I, it's honestly called the best time to go. Monday night, I would say a slightly thin head on top. Um, doesn't look super creamy, but we'll have a we'll have a swig. Um, but usual crack came in, told the baron what we're doing, and your man down the end. Best pint in best pint in fucking trim. I've learned trust no one. I'm not letting anyone influence my decision. No chance. I will swig, and I will decide what I think is the official guru best pint in trim. It's gonna make this quick cozy. It's not great. Do you know when you just get that? Just a bitter aftertaste. Gonna be some fucking wacky shtick. And what's that from cozy? What we've learned? Wet glass. Wet glass. Not a good thing. Golden rule: glass should be dry as a bone. That folks, that shtick that's just drowning all over the place. That's because the glass wouldn't have been dry when it was poured. Sounds so, um, what's the word? Pretentious, yeah. Like such a fucking pure snobbery, but it's a fact, so. <laughs> Smog is what I was gonna say. The head is deteriorating cozy. And yeah, just feck off shtick. Going straight for the jugular. Six point three. Can't like can't be given can't just be throwing sevens out just for the crack. It's a six point three. You are? It's not a charity. I know he gave us the point for free, but we did promote his uh I feel bad on me six point three. So yeah lads, pit of music here and uh, Prosecco on tap. There was a good few late recommendations like just earlier on today for the all stand. But again, this is what we say, cozy like we go in on the night. You, what is it? You're only as good as your last point, cozy. So you're only as good as your last point. It needs to be consistent. And that's what people always say. The, the C word. Consistent. Right, as we said, we'll, we'll go a bit different on this one. This place is deadly. <laughs> I can definitely see myself here. No offence to the lads of Trim, but I wasn't expecting this sort of calibre of late night spot, so I'll give it to his lads. And what did you say goes the uh, DJ Beano? DJ Beano does be on the decks apparently, so you can slag me all you want lads. We have we have the research done. DJ Beano, shout out to you if you see this. Apparently the, apparently he's never even here, he's getting so much work. <laughs> yeah Jays, could see this place fucking hopping on a Saturday night. Um, point solid. I was gonna say, I'd say there's plenty of lads watching this who got their first shift in here and first whatever else. What? <laughs> Walk by up here. This is actually serious. I was just saying it got done up a couple of years ago or something. Like, just. And like, I don't want to sound like a weirdo, but like, it's just. Some pubs you go into and you're just dirty as fuck. Like, this place is just scrub. Scrub a dub dub clean. Getting the hiccups now. Trim, you've been good. You've pleasantly surprised me. I don't want to say that in a bad way, but I have to. Relay, my expectations weren't amazing, and yeah, it's been some crack. Point I would say, actually, stick looking good, cozy. Yeah, hanging off the top. Also, shout out to what was it, Dimmy Higgins? Dimmy Higgins inside got a picture and all, so fair play to him. That's gonna get 7.0 again. I know I gave Marcy's a 7.0, um, but. Solid point. Anyway, um, Lena Hins. I'd say the boys from Trim will enjoy this one because I'd say there's been a shift in that corner. I want to say something else, but I can't. <laughs> I'd say there's been a shift in that corner. There's been something else in that corner. And there's been a fucking few scraps around, for sure. That's the crack. Uh, so we're finishing here, lads. Lena Hins and Trim. 7.0 for the point. Look at this place cozy. Toilet review. Tiles, we got blue, we got orange, we got yellow. Like, you'd eat your fucking spuds off them tiles. Wouldn't probably, and <laughs> look at this. 
That is unbelievable, Cozy. Come on, look at the presentation. You're going to take a leak and the presentation value. Ah, oh, there's Dimmy now. Do you want to be in the video, Dimmy? <laughs> Come on. Give the point out of 10. Okay, here I'd give it. Seven. Go on, you're alright. Seven and a half. I gave it a seven. Seven. Which wasn't bad, and but I said it's it's one of the nicest fucking late bars I've ever been. All right, cozy. Just out of Lena Hins, uh, I was saying to you, kind of appropriate that that was a last spot because definitely if you came to trim for like a Friday or Saturday night, that would be your last spot. It's, looks like it's, it's hard to say, but it looks like it would be serious crack there. Where are we going? Over the bins, cozy. Onto the road with you. <laughs> No, it looks like it would be serious crack on a Friday, Saturday night, or whatever. And um, so appropriate that we were there for the for the end. My best point in trim is Lynch's the motor bar. Yeah. Um, McCormick's was absolutely great crack. All the pubs I had to say we went in, everyone was very hospitable and yeah, trim. Again, I'm not saying I, I wasn't expecting to come here and it was going to be awful, but like just didn't. Didn't set my expectations too high. Trim is of impressed, lads. I'll definitely be back on a on a Saturday night around midnight to head into Leaning to see the crack and check out that toilet again. <laughs> <laughs> Probably won't be as clean then. Again, lads, thanks for watching. Make sure uh, you subscribe, you go on to Instagram, you follow, you go onto the Twitter machine and you follow, and we're gonna do it again next week. I don't know where we're gonna go, but we're not gonna stop. We're not gonna stop until we've hit. I would say every town in uh, fucking Ireland, but that's pretty unrealistic. But we're flying the lads, and thanks for watching.